Hello, hello from Zambia, everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Malawi. I'm just going to give you some quick information. Okay, let's start. So, let's start with visa. Most of the countries they need a visa. They can do it if you on arrival, but it's 50-50. Sometimes they turn you back. Sometimes they will ask you for much more money. So it's better to do to do it online. The site will tell you that it's going to take three, four working days, but mine took like ten. Some other people, they took them 20, some others, they took them two hours. So at least try to, to do it 30 days before. Okay, that one is out of the way now. Let's talk about ATMs. ATMs, if you can, bring dollars with you. And 100 notes, 100 or 50, because they give you much better rate than if you have 20. Still, if you have 20s or 10s, it's much better than use the ATM. And when I'm talking about much better, I'm talking about about 20% or 22 and plus whatever the ATM charge you. And the ATMs in Malawi, they don't give you much anyway. I think the most they give you is like about $100, something like that. If I am not wrong, it was something like that. And euros, it doesn't matter what, no, what notes they, they have. You can change it. And that one, euros, I know pretty much exactly if you take ATM or change it, it's about 20%. Dollar is about, depends what the biggest note you have, the more you get. And transport, transport there is everything. Shared taxis, shared taxis they can be annoying sometimes because they will tell you, yes, we are going to that place. Then half of the, half, halfway they will tell you, oh, stop, that you will, they ask you for the money before. And then they will give you another taxi. They give the share of the other person. Then maybe you have to wait another 45 minutes to fill up the next one. So make sure, or just tell them, I'm just going to pay you when I arrive. And then you, you pay them because you can get a lift. It's very easy in Malawi to, to hitchhike. And then you give them some money for the petrol. Normally I used to give them how much I think the, the taxi was going to cost me. Sorry, not the taxi, the shared taxi or the bus because private taxi will cost you a lot of money. And they are happy because they was going to go anyway over there. So everyone is happy and you can make new friends and in Malawi everyone is nice and friendly. Accommodation, accommodation here, especially for a private room in most of the places you pay $25 minimum. Minimum I'm talking about like a normal guest house then you can pay a lot much more if you stay in five star hotels. Depends how you like, how you like to travel. And good experience like transport wise it was the Lala ferry. The Lala ferry can spend three days depends from where you take it. I spent two days on it but it's good to have a cabin. If you have a cabin still it's gonna cost you less money than if you go by bus and you sleep in a guest house on the way because I think I'm talking for myself two days without a cabin will have been too much. The first night was very very busy I couldn't get even in my room because people were sleeping there. But the second night was pretty empty. So it was good and great experience. Safety, safety was very good. I can, I never feel in danger. And ele electricity, it's better to have a good power bank with you because they have this system, especially around Lake Malawi. They, in the cities, no, but around Lake Malawi and other villages, they have like this system, they get no electricity in the, in the morning, the next day in the evening, the next, and then the next day during the night. So make, make sure you have a good power bank and be, be prepared for it. And the annoying, the annoying thing, I know normally I don't talk about the COVID regulations, but Malawi is the only country I've been that you need a test when you leave the country. So for example now in Zambia today, Today is 28th of March 2022. They took the test away. But I came last week. But if I had to come today or tomorrow, even here I don't need a test. Still I had to get a test because I'm leaving Malawi. So that one is not very nice to be honest. And it's like hundred dollars for a test there. So so if you don't like these things, and these things still exist, uh, maybe in a month or two months, maybe you can think to come here after or Anyway, you plan the, your trip how you like. Maybe I get annoyed with it, maybe you don't get annoyed and you don't care if you pay $100. But I wanted to let you know. So I think I covered everything. 
If I forget something, because sometimes I forget all the time, I will just put it in the description. Thank you very much and looking forward to do some videos about Zambia. Bye. Oops.